some people say, hey, should, you know, what's better, a gas system or an electric system on, on any kind of a, you know, HVAC install? So what do you think? What's your opinion? So I personally like heat pump, but I will tell you, it depends on the, the homeowner, for instance. If I come into your home and you say, I don't want to, I don't want a heat pump. I don't want a heat pump. I only want a gas furnace. I'm not going to argue with you about it. <laughs> I may explain <laughs> the benefits of a heat pump, for instance, in your home, in your climate where you live, mm-hmm. in your home, it's relatively simple to heat and cool. A heat pump would work as well or better than a gas furnace because a gas furnace, the BTUs, the heat that is generated, is substantially more than a heat pump unit. Mm. So you have more heat, so it gets hotter quicker and it shuts off. California is going for clean energy. So at some point, we are not going to have natural gas appliances available to us. It's already started. Mm -hmm. So our gas furnace, I only have, well, I have two that I can use, but I will only use one of those two. And they're called ultra low Knox, which is a whole other uh, a whole other thing we could get into. But to answer your question, I do like heat pump. But if I go into a home and I'll ask people, I have a survey I ask, what's your ideal temperature? Well, in the summertime we like eighty, and in the wintertime we like seventy five. Well, I could tell you, I don't know if a variable speed heat pump is going to be the best for you. You're not going to get the value out of it for Mm. the cooling season. So that may be some of my elderly homeowners. So I'm not going to push them into that. Uh, To me, it's it's almost silly to give them some high-end variable speed system. They want to turn the heat on. They want it warm in the house. A gas heater is going to do that quicker. Right. Um, in, uh, uh, in, in, in your home, I would recommend a variable My speed. My home, you mean? Yeah, I'd, I'd be pushing on a two-speed or variable speed heat pump because I don't need a lot of heat in this home. I don't need a lot of heat. Your gas bills in the last two months, if you've looked at them, <laughs> have gone up three to four times. Yeah. Um, and the gas company is going to give you a little bit of money back, but I feel, you know, they're just teasing us. Do you know what's behind that? Do I know what's behind it? Do you it? happen to know? Because I don't, I don't know what... I was told they made a mistake, but they did increase the cost of, of the gas. But hmm. <laughs> whole other topic. But yeah. look, we live in, we live in California. Yeah. So <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have many choices. No. You know, my, no. Old, my, old, my old gas furnace that I installed four or five years ago was the best heater I ever had. It's not legal in Southern California for me to install it. You want to give out your address? (laughs) It's crazy. (laughs) It's crazy. So what they've done, so the heat pump is nice because there's some rebate money. Uh, Department of Water and Power has a rebate. Burbank had a rebate. It's going to come back. So certain communities may have their own rebate with the utility company. There's also tax credits. So, yeah, I just want to make it clear to listeners, uh, you know, a heat pump system is all electric. There's no gas fuel needed. It's just electric. So uh, in case you're wondering what that difference is. Um, so that's what we just discussed there. So it's clean energy. Right. So zero right. carbon footprint. Yeah. Um, I like the 10 year old kids. They can tell you all about it. <laughs> all right. So I'm a homeowner and my system breaks. You're not available. I called Tom, Dick, and Harry. They're all they're all unavailable. Should I try to fix it myself? Well, good question. So it all depends. So I get these calls, and you know I'll try to help people on the phone. And it all depends. Someone like you, John, you know you're relatively handy, but you already said you're testing things without having any test equipment. Mm-hmm. So the first thing to check is electricity. If you don't have the proper electricity to the machine, it's not going to work. If you don't have the proper tester to test the electricity, you're not going to be able to know. You're guessing. So you can't do it. It could be something as simple as a fuse. And yes, you know, if if you're relatively handy, you can change that fuse. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to test to see if you have electricity. Right. You know, the next step. Can you change a capacitor, a contactor, a motor? 
I know a lot of people that can do it. Yeah. I've seen it done many times. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not rocket science, but exactly. you know, for us, my guys my guys are trained and trained and trained and just talking to somebody, you know, I'm 75, 80%, I can diagnose that on a phone call. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Just awesome. from doing it so often. So no, I yeah. don't really recommend it's called it. experience. Yeah. I, I I don't work on my cars anymore. I can't. My old cars I could. We can work yeah. on on that fancy on the 1970 car. Yeah. But you can't work on that fancy no. uh, you know Jeep or Tesla. The, the new SRTs? And none of them. No. You can't. You can't even change they the took oil. took the fun right out of it. Sure did. So Not Dean, fun for me. So Dean, your service area can you be more specific of what that covers. Sure. So we're located in uh, Sherman Oaks. We're on Sepulveda in the 101 freeway. You can't miss his sign when you're going uh, 101 headed west and you cross about to cross over Van Nuys and you look down on the right. Sepulveda. Sepulveda. I'm sorry. Sepulveda. Yeah. You look down on the right and you'll see his sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been there for a long time. That's great. Um, but yeah, my area, I, I really like to focus on the valley, Sherman Oaks, Encino, Tarzana. Woodland Hills, West Van Hills. Van Nuys. Yes, I go Woodland Hills, West Hills. Um, I try not to go up to Chatsworth. I try to Northridge. I'll do some Porter Ranch. Really? You're trying to stay away from Chatsworth, huh? Yeah. The, because, too hot up there? <laughs> no, it takes too long to get there. Yeah. So look, my my emergency call isn't Monday through Friday, right. 7 to 4.30. Right. So they're calling at 4 o'clock, and then it takes my guy on a Friday an hour to get to Chatsworth. I know as the crows flies, <laughs> it's only 10 miles. But if you've lived here long enough, it you takes know. a long time. So one, I can't do as many calls, putting money to the side. Sure. I can't get as many calls, you know, done. It doesn't mean I'm not going to help you. Makes sense, dude. Yeah. You're being efficient. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm yeah, not yeah. going to help you. And look, if you have a three or four-year-old unit, I'm probably not the guy to call. Call the guy who installed it. Right. If you're if, if you're m more local, it's easier for me to check it. I can tell you if there's, you know, if it's a quick fix, we'll fix it. But Sherman Oak Studio City, Tarzana, Burbank. I love Burbank. Um, I love... Uh, you know, anything within, you know, four or five miles. I try not to go past Mulholland Drive purely for the, because of the traffic. Right. It's a problem. It doesn't mean I won't. Right. You know, I'm selective, especially mm -hmm. on a referral. Right. You know, I, I will tell you, though, I don't go to Santa Monica anymore. I don't go to Culver City. I don't go to Malibu. That's coming off my list yeah. soon. I'm and I don't you. go to the Palisades. Yeah. I don't go there. I don't do it. I'm sorry. Um you know, I, I, I just don't. The, the traffic is too difficult for my guys. Yeah. And your website is uh, Kilowatt? KilowattHVAC.com. HVAC.com. Yeah. By the way, you have a great website. I love, I love who designed it. Is that yeah. somebody in-house that did that for you? My wife does it with whatever those people are called that handle I'm, the website. I might need to hi hijack that information to have them do mine because I'd like to do a redo on mine. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for coming. I really appreciate you taking Thank the time. You. I know you're a busy guy, yeah. and uh, I hope uh, you answered a lot of questions. I think we did for the homeowners listening and the potential home buyers. So take care of your system, everybody. It's really important. Uh, maintenance, 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 and, just like your car. And just a little plug for John. John, John, when I say one of the best, there's only one other person that I know is as good as John uh, as a home inspector and he's very thorough and the way he takes the pictures is super important to contractors uh, he gives a lot of information and um, uh, i'm uh, i'm honored to be on his podcast here and honored to be awesome. a friend of his and work for him personally so thank you